Hello and welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add text after cell data in Microsoft Excel. In short, we are going to add suffix in Excel. Okay, now there are function for this. You can use function or formula to add suffix in Excel, but we're not going to do that here because if you want to add suffix using formula, you'll be needing a helper column and then you'll have to convert that formula result into value. Okay, but here we are going to go a bit advanced we are going to use vba to solve this and i'm going to write a vba that will allow me to add suffix in this range okay and i won't be using any helper column or anything else just a simple macro and it will be done <laughs> Let's get started. So we are going to add suffix or we are going to add words after this text. Okay. So here we have John and I want to add, let's say hyphen MGT to indicate these are management employees. Okay. So all the names and then I'm going to add MGT to all this text. This is a small list, but what if you have hundreds of rows with data, then formula convert too much work just write the vb and it will be done in seconds so to write your macro you have to click on the developer tab if you don't have developer tab please check out the link you'll learn how to add developer tab in excel once you have clicked on the developer tab you will have to click on visual basic then you will have to click on insert and then module okay now we are going to write vb first we need to write sub this will be our macro name i'm going to write add text on right okay. this will be our macro name and now if you need any support regarding this you can contact me on my website so i'm going to add a comment here for you and add my website address here okay now with that done now let's specify our variable we're going to write team rng as range okay we need to double click here to write here dim work range as range as we'll be working with strings so i'm going to write another variable here steer as string okay now we have added our variables now let's write something to overcome the error so we're going to write on error reason next okay now we're going to write the specific code and with the help of this code we'll be able to add suffix in it okay first as we are going to add selection so our pop-up title should be specific okay so we're going to write x title id then equals as we're going to add text here so we're going to write it within double quotation so i'm going to write here the website address again this will be the title of your pop-up okay i will show you and you can change it according to your need it's not a big deal okay now we are going to set the variable okay we're going to set our w r k r n g our equals application dot selection so we'll pass our selection data to our variable work range here okay we're going to set another range in our work range right equal to application dot input box so it will be the selection you will be doing in the input box now open parenthesis we're going to write range within double quotation comma x title id it will match it from here we have here x title id and here we have written the title as x title id okay and it will 
include MS Excel tutorial to the input box title. Okay, add comma to the next parameter. Here will be writing work. Our range work range dot address. Now here we are going to take the address from our application selection, our work range. Okay, our application selection address here. Now add comma and then write type semicolon equal to eight and close parenthesis enter. Now here we are going to specify the string variable which is str. str equal to application dot input box open parenthesis within double quotation. I'm going to write add text then add comma our input box title would be x title id just like the previous one i'm going to add comma and we are going to write double quotation comma type colon equal to two okay now close parenthesis press it now we are going to run the loop we are going to write for each our variable r n range in our second variable work range so w r k r n g for each range in work range we are going to change the range value here so we are going to write r n g dot value equal to R N G dot value and we are going to add our string here which is str okay what we have done here we have added a variable rng which will represent the range okay now all the range in our work range which is our selection all the range in our selection we are going to change the range value so we have written range dot value this is our variable okay so this range value will be changed and it will be changed in a way our range value will be there and we are going to add the text we have just added and it's done we are going to write next and our end sub is already there our code is ready so if i close the vb and as we have selected the range there are two ways you can either select it and then run the macro or you can run the macro and then select it both way it will work so our code is ready and we are going to add hyphen mgt to all this range so i'm going to click on the developer tab again click on macros and here we have our macro listed which is add text on right i'm going to click on this run option and you can see here we added our title x title id you remember that that is our pop-up title okay now our range is already selected that's why it's automatically placed here okay if your range wasn't selected you can change it in this section and i'm going to click ok this is our range and here i'm going to add the text I'm, my text will be hyphen space m g t okay now i'm going to click ok and here you can see we have added a text after our existing text so in general we have added our suffix here so this is how you can add suffix in excel using vba this is what i wanted to show you if you need this code you can check the link in the description i will be placing the code in the website you can check it from there and you can copy it from there and if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial